Good morning, guys. Two things, in case I sound weird, I have a cold. Another thing I wanna mention, I went out last night. Today is Monday, by the way. It was Miami Music Week and a friend of ours his sister is married to a DJ who had a set. Being that we never go out, me and Herman were like, you know what, let's do something now. And honestly, we had a great time, but I am paying for it right now. Last night, we left the house at like midnight. So we got there at like one and we stayed there till like four. So I woke up today, slept in a little and I feel like shit. I tried to pull myself together. Honestly, if you are feeling hungover, take a shower, put on a cute workout set, I got this new workout set from Lululemon and it's so cute, so spring inspired. Am I going to work out? No. But does this make me feel better about myself since I slept in and I'm hungover and it's a Monday? Yes. I ran out of sweet cream. So I'm just gonna take some whole milk. I'm gonna take some honey. This is a Turkish honey to make the milk sweet. I'm gonna mix it. And voila. And it'll look like this. Should I be having a coffee right now? No, I should probably be doing like electrolytes. If it was up to me, I would probably sleep this entire day. But I know if I do that, I will feel like a bum. So we're having coffee so we could be productive today. This is so good. Let's make boiled eggs. I need a bowl. One, two, three. And then we're just gonna wait for that to boil. I'm also going to take a cucumber. Some drizzle. Salt. Yellow pen tuna. Do you think this is for you? A bubby? Really? Bubby, this is for mom. Crazy boy. You too. Take half of the tuna. A little side dish here with the eggs. 10 hours later. I'm gonna run the eggs under cold water. The eggs are ready. It's not a perfect egg. It'll do. Look at this. I think he likes eggs. Put them in here. I'm gonna salt them on one Wawa cracker. Honestly, this is my favorite thing. I might put some of this tuna on the cracker. So I got a cleanup. That's good enough. I need to like wake up for the day. I decided I'm just gonna do a quick light makeup so I feel a little more put together. I'm feeling really hungover to be honest. I hate this feeling more than anything. Like it's honestly the worst. This is why I don't really usually go out. I just don't like to feel unproductive. I literally can't control my body out of like this tired meh feeling. I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare because I haven't done any skincare. First gonna use this Hydromucin. This is from GM Colin. It's actually Hydrating, so I'm gonna go in with my Mary and May essence. Put that on. I'm gonna go in with my Glow Recipe, the Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. This is like their essence version of vitamin C. For eye cream, I need something ultra brightening today, so I'm gonna go in with my Magic Eye Cream. My ears are still ringing. Like, that is the worst. On the positive side, I had a lot of fun. I got to dress up, I to listen to good music. I'm gonna use my bean essence from McSoon, a vegan scale mucin, and I think I like it better than the Cost RX one. Okay, also, the pimple I had yesterday is drying up, which is amazing. I did get my period. Did I mention I also got my period, and I also have a cold, and I'm also hungover? I'm, I'm done. Well, then I'm gonna take the McSoon Centella essence. It's like a really soothing, hydrating formula. I have morning ceramide, high emission water, sunscreen. This is also a K-Beauty brand. And for my makeup, I actually have like a bunch of new products that I got from Sephora. Also, I think there's a Sephora sale going on right now. So if there is, make sure you guys get these things at Sephora because I've already tried them and they're amazing. Forever Glow Star Filter from Dior. And I'm in the shade three. When I tell you guys, this is better than the Charlotte Tilbury cream. It's what Charlotte Tilbury wishes flawless filter whatever it's what she wishes her formula was put it on for you guys so you guys can see it just gives a beautiful radiance to the skin i got the new say beauty it's lip tint concealer i'm in the shade seven i've been obsessing this applicator it's amazing it's so smooth it feels like 
skin. You guys, this is definitely gonna be like my new favorite concealer and it also blends out so beautifully. Tell me that's not stunning. I have this new product from Anastasia in the shade Soft Brown. It's like a brow pen. And what you could do is you can create strokes, eyebrow strokes, that laminated look. So I'm loving that because it's really easy to like imitate brow hairs with it. I'm gonna use my Chanel Sheer Powder. Moving on, this Forever Glow Maximizer from Dior. I got this in the shade Peachy. You can use this as a highlight, you can use it as a blush. I'm doing both right now. Such a stunning product, you guys. Look at how natural and glowy and beautiful that is. I feel like this is gonna be like the product of the summer. They also have a lot of other shades. Another new product I got is the Anastasia Brow Freeze. I've been loving this to give like that laminated look. Look at that glow from Sweet Beauty, this mascara. The Pro Lash Lift Mascara. Look at this wand, I've never seen anything like it. I just put the tiniest amount. I'm gonna go in with my Summer Fridays and this is my favorite. I could eat this if I wanted to. That's gonna be our makeup look for today. Very natural. Pick these up at the Sephora sale. Will not regret it. These products are stunning. I'm telling you guys, you heard it here first. It's gonna be the product for summer. I'm ready to be hungover and raw all day in my house. I'm ready to go literally do a house reset right now. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I am determined. I don't know how I'm gonna do this hungover. This is like a challenge. An amazing cleaning tip. Get a speaker and like blast it. Basics on. I always start with vacuuming first. Let's back in the kitchen. It's Tuesday. Just got ready to go to the gym. I think I'm gonna try to get a workout in today. I'm trying to get back into the grind today. I do feel like I really do need a coffee this morning. I am just exhausted. I feel like I just sometimes need to relax. But as you guys can see yesterday, I was hungover. I still decided to clean the whole house, the laundry, cook dinner, the whole thing. I just need to be doing things because otherwise I feel bored. Anyways, getting sidetracked. Let's make a Cafecito. Here, take a little bit of my Turkish honey. So today I have a call at 12 and after the call, um, I'm gonna make like a light breakfast. Um, and then I gotta run to a couple stores to get some groceries. And I'm gonna start editing a YouTube video that I filmed. So that's on my to-do list. Yeah, I think in the middle of Yeah, yeah, we 
just working. The Lash Serum, they got their mailer. I'll try to post something organically. Measure for their US division, so I'm supposed to get. All right, sounds good. I'll definitely send you links so we can start on that relationship. You are the absolute best. Thank you so much. So I've been using their products a lot. But that they have to restructure. What happened? I just finished up the meeting, showered, had breakfast, put on my outfit for the day, and we're gonna do some skincare real quick. Skin mist. This is the by Fida Mint Essence. Restore the pH level on my skin. I favor it. It's the Vino you know, Perfect Radiating Serum. I've used this for like almost two years now. It's soothing essence from Mixoon. Like really brings back that moisture. Going with this new product that I just got. It's the Renovat Brightening Saffron Serum. This is such a gorgeous product, guys. It smells like honey and it feels feels like honey on your skin in the best way possible just so hydrating so beautiful morning ceremony you guys remember yesterday i was hungover and honestly i just come to the realization now that i am 27 i just don't love going out as much as i used to when i was younger and when you live in miami you do really get so much fomo everyone is constantly going out this is the costa rx peptide eye cream but yeah, everyone in Miami is constantly going out and you see that a lot on socials. So sometimes I do get a little bit of FOMO being like, should I be going out? But at the same time, I'm like, I just don't really enjoy it. Like I would much rather stay in and be surrounded by people I love and just have a good time. Get home, have charcuterie board and wine and maybe host a dinner with your friends at your house. Like just what you guys see I do a lot is host and just have friends over at my house. So I would rather that than go out. It's like a bunch of like intoxicated people around you. And I don't know. It's just something was so like low vibrational about it that by the way has PF. But it's not that I didn't have fun. This is the same brand as the moisturizer that i use with but yeah it's not that i didn't have fun it's just that i wasn't like enjoying it as much as i used to like i was kind of just like okay i'm like ready to go home and like go to sleep do my skincare have my peppermint tea and like go to bed wake up early and be productive and i feel that when you go out like it really takes such a toll on your body and you feel lethargic the next day you feel hungover you don't feel good and it's like that's probably not a good thing i don't know i was kind of just this is so stupid like why am i doing this to myself but it's worth it i'll definitely go out but if it's like just to go out to go out i don't think it's worth it yeah. anyways guys i'm gonna film a tiktok so you guys will kind of see the bts it just feels so good with this some concealer so first of all the applicator application it just applies low brow look i don't really get it if i just use it a little bit on the bottom it looks like this makeup look guys just so you guys can kind of get Okay, this is also gonna be a naturally like a radiance look. Sweet beauty is what I'm gonna take away from the glow. Glowing right now, this is so, so stunning. So I just finished filming the TikTok. I'm obsessed, you guys, with this Dior Forever Glow. It's giving radiance. We're ready now to go run some errands. I have to go get some groceries for the week. And I swear every vlog is groceries, but it's something I do a lot. I'll show you guys my outfit. So I'm wearing this Aritzia top that I just got over the weekend. <laughs> white tube top and it's not the cropped version it's the full size version i have the cropped version the black and white one i mean the black and brown one but i was like let me get a full size no regrets i love it it's so so classy and then these jeans are from revolve they're girlfriend jeans let me show you guys like a better angle by the way i'm getting rid of this rug <laughs> so you guys saw that i bought like randomly when I went to Marshall, not really thoughtful purchase because I didn't really measure out my room correctly. And as you guys can see, the rug is a little odd and it kind of just doesn't go with the flow of this room. I'm actually getting in a new rug that's gonna pretty much cover up this entire room. And I feel so cozy in here. I'm so excited. I'll definitely be showing you guys that once it arrives. It's a good angle that you guys can kind of just see. This is the top, full body. All right, let's go do some groceries. When I tell you guys, like this glow is absolutely insane. It's actually insane. Okay, bye. If you guys are from South Florida, I think you guys know that the traffic recently has just been out of control. I live like five minutes away from Whole Foods and it takes me like 20 minutes. 
like it's just so unnecessary i don't know why there's always so much traffic don't think you guys will truly understand unless you're from south florida so i just finished making a grocery list of everything that we need because i swear every single time i come to the store i always forget one thing and there's also a recipe that i want to make this week with udon noodles that i saw on instagram that looked amazing I'm with me now to grab all the groceries i found these udon rice noodles we have the mushrooms know about this like there's literally really like chloride in non-organic ones and then i want to get liners okay so. guys so we are back home decided to treat myself and get a strawberry essay because i need a little bit of caffeine i have some editing to do and just a lot of things still to do for today this is like my go-to first food haul I got a lot of food because we realistically had no food. So I got great for a great source of antioxidants. I got green onion for the udon recipe that I'm gonna make tomorrow. I wanted to make it tonight, but we actually have dinner tonight with some family and I totally forgot. I got some avocados for the week. I'm just gonna put them here. This is my fruit bowl. Cucumber. I have kefir, favorite thing to have after I eat. Some feta crumbles for salad. Summer strawberry sparkling water. It's one of my favorite sparkling water joints. It has like that slight taste of strawberries and it just is so refreshing. I got a lime. So I got a lime to put into my water. Micro super mix. This is the only type of greens that Herman will allow himself to eat. He is one of those people that eats like a five-year-old. So this is the way I get greens in him, is these like micro greens. They're just so annoyingly dumb expensive. Look at this, two ounces. <laughs> it's nothing, but he's annoying. So got him that. Um, it is really tasty though, I won't lie. Still, like why can't we just have a spinach salad? Tomatoes for the week. So I finally bought some almond milk because there's a recipe I wanna make for like a healthy dessert. I got some home roll, some sweet cream for coffee, Saki Chef Smith mushrooms for the udon recipe that I want to make tomorrow. Butter because we ran out of butter. Turkey breast, I got two of them because it was on sale. Some bananas for the week. I put that in our bowl that is now not empty anymore. The next bag, farm crisps. I decided to get the full bag. We run out of this so fast. And I love this stuff in my salad. This is the udon noodles. I got some green apples. We're stocked up on fruits because I feel like I was just having no fruits in the house. This is my favorite kanochi. It's made with almond flour. Made chunks for the smoothie. I got protein powder for the dessert that I'm gonna make in vanilla. Crisp bread, hard palm palmini, and also because we ran out as well. I also didn't vlog this, but I did stop at Publix. I was like, we need coffee. And they didn't have a Whole Foods today for some reason. My favorite. You guys already know. They're avocado chips, so healthy, made with avocado oil. Last but not least, you guys already know. Grillo's pickles. Mm. These are the best. Just do not sleep on these. I think these are the best pickles that exist in supermarkets. They have a spicy one. The whole haul here. Start putting that all in the fridge, which I don't really want to do. My biggest pet peeve is putting containers in the fridge. I think it's so funny, so I try to do that. Just went to Target. Pods, toothpaste, tampons, and liners. And then I'm gonna start working and editing. So I ended the vlog abruptly yesterday. I was working pretty much all day today, editing some content that I had to get done. Oh, I'm quickly going to run some errands as per usual. I have a couple of returns I need to do and then also my freaking iPhone charger just stopped working out of nowhere. This is the second time it happens ever since I got a new iPhone that has like the new charger. So I once again have to make a stop at the Apple store 
tonight we're making the udon noodles that i've been wanting to make since yesterday i was definitely be showing you guys a little bit of that guys it's 5 p.m on a wednesday and i think i just spent like 15 minutes looking for parking i finally found a spot but i was surprised i thought nobody would be at the mall right now <laughs> I don't know, I have mixed feelings. Like it's kind of like giving tennis, but I feel like it's not really doing much for me here. Like, I wish it was a little more fitting. I'm not sure I love it. I feel like it makes this area look kind of weird. What do we think? Guys, this is the overdress. Like this bow detail, it's really cute. Oh, I also just noticed it has like this weird line here. This top. But I kind of don't really need black. I really do like this. That was really cute. But. Back home now, I thankfully did not end up getting anything from Zara because honestly, I don't know what's been going on lately. I don't really love the quality of the pieces as much anymore and i've been noticing every time i buy from zara i'll wear it and then i'll put it in the wash and it just gets completely ruined i was like you know what if i'm not in love with a piece i'm not buying it it's like the sizes are just completely off. small around my bust area and then i get a medium and then it's too big on my waist anyways getting sidetracked i've been opening up some pr that i got in and i got this really cool package from ysl beauty it's like a lipstick Tell me this is not the coolest thing ever. This is their new lipsticks. I'm obsessed with YSL Beauty and they now came out with the new YSL Love Shine. And these are like skinnier sticks. And there's three shades. That's actually so pretty. And this is more of a corally shade, which I'm definitely gonna be wearing a lot more for the spray. Also sent me their Lash Clash Mascara, which is a classic. I always just love the packaging so luxurious and then they sent me their couture mini clutch eyeshadow this is so pretty it feels like a little mini ysl bag it's like a little ysl wallet this is stunning it's gorgeous shades so next i got a k beauty package which i'm actually so excited for you guys know my love for k beauty and the brand is called none but none buzzin i saw them on tiktok so happy they sent me a pr package this is the calming herb toner vitamin boosting essential toner so excited to try these i've heard amazing things about them and then this is the vitamin concentrated serum i already like i just couldn't wait but i opened up this soothing moisturizer they have it feels just like very medical grade is the best way I can describe it. So I'm so excited. Thank you, Nimbazin, for sending me these products. I'll keep you guys updated on what I think. I'm gonna go quickly change, get into comfy clothes, and get ready to cook the udon noodles I've been dreaming about all week. So guys, welcome to cooking with Joanna. So I'm gonna be making a creamy mushroom udon noodle recipe today. I found on Instagram and I was in love with. I have all the ingredients kind of ready here. Have the mushrooms. I'm gonna start with the mushrooms and start chopping them up. So the first step is the butter, the onion, and garlic. That cook for a little bit. In the mushrooms that I cut up, those cook thoroughly. Now we add miso paste and milk. In about that much. I'm gonna mix in the miso paste. Then we're gonna season salt, mommy blend. Guys, I have my udon, so put this in. It's pretty creamy. It smells so good. The mushroom udon recipe. Happy Thursday. So I'll be raw and real with you guys. Today, I honestly had a little bit of an off day. I have my period and it's like the worst day of my period. It's a little bit painful. I woke up like not in the mood to do anything. Like I set my YouTube video live. And then I was like, okay, let me film 
a little something for the day one of those moods where like you cannot get me to get up and do anything and I hate when I am in that mood so I decided to do my makeup which I filmed for a TikTok snap out of it and get some things done that I wanted to get done today I need to wash my bed sheets I've been waiting on washing them I know kind of gross because the sheets that I have you can't put them in the dryer or they get ruined so I had to buy all the stuff for it and you also have to like properly steam them so it's a whole process to get these bed sheets on properly and so I had to order a bunch of stuff on Amazon and it just came in so I'm fine I'm finally going to be washing my bed sheets. I've literally been sleeping on my bed without sheets for four days. And I think that's also part of the problem as to why I feel the ick right now. And another thing that I have been needing to do that I've been postponing, <laughs> to be honest, is I need to organize my closet. And I need to organize my beauty room. Anyways, let's get our ish together and turn this day around. You can turn around an unproductive day and make it a really productive day. And that's what we're going to do. So I hope this motivates some of you guys. I'm drinking an Alani because I have no energy because of my period, so cheers. So we're bringing some delicates. Bring what I use. This makes everything smell so good. The fact that that task made me so anxious. I don't want to do this all day. Open it up. Another thing I've been postponing is opening this up. I was like, I just don't want to open this. It seemed so daunting to me. I hate the smell of cardboard boxes. It's to dry things. Oh, wait, I think I get it. I think I get it. Go. So you gotta flip up. Wow, no brainer. So this is basically a drying board or whatever you want to call it. Next thing I gotta do is clean up my vanity. So let's move on to my beauty room. Oh, I wanna go drawer by drawer and open it. Now we're doing the hair drawer. Doing the other side now. So I did do a little bit of a clean out as well. Just got rid of some stuff that I think are expired. Okay guys, so just finished cleaning up the area. Everything is so much more organized now. That's the best feeling ever. All right, now I'm gonna go on to wash my makeup brushes. I don't wanna ruin my nails, so I did put on gloves. So I have like this set from Amazon, and it's so easy to wash your makeup brushes. I fill this up with water. Take the machine, and you find where it fits good. So, and then you put it on the machine. So you see the water literally turns the color of the brush. And, like rinse it. Small ones, I just do them all at once. Guys, uh, it's your sign to wash your beauty blender. Brushes are clean. This is the best feeling ever. <laughs> if only they could always be like this. My closet is a disaster. I try to organize as much as I can today and kind of work my way up. I do want everything color coordinated, so much more organized. A t-shirt. My arms are gonna hurt. Guys, it's my t-shirts. So I'm looking a little crazy. My nose out of here. Oh, 
Good morning guys, it's Friday. I didn't show you guys the finished result yesterday, but I did end up organizing the whole closet. I swear it makes the biggest difference. I already feel so much more peaceful now in the morning, like kind of just knowing where everything is. Really does make the biggest difference, guys. I hope this was some inspo to organize your vanity, your room, wash your makeup brushes because guys, you just feel brand new and especially it's the end of the month, April is coming upon us. Like Having a clean slate is the best feeling. So hydrate my face with this Hydra Muse. So I know that even though I'm gonna take an everything shower, I'm still doing my skincare. I just cannot wake up for the day without doing my skincare. I just got in this new Invisin. I think I showed you guys opening up this package, the Vitamin Boosting Essentials. I've been using it for the last couple of days since I got it. First of all, like a thicker consistency than regular toners but it's thicker in the sense that it's very hydrating and you guys can see right away when i put it on my skin's like brightened soon bean essence so i just put the pure herb calming toner and so i put this on at the end so yeah it's extremely soothing which i love this is the morning ceramide cream from SPF. it's like a sun stick and you kind of just like pat it on you see my hair is just not it right now i need to wash it guys i'm gonna go ahead and do some emails and i'll be back with you guys probably when i do my everything shower bye i just got into the shower and i'm doing like facial stuff i had to bleach my sideburns they came out so good also put a little tiny bit on my eyebrows just to soften up my look a little um and i really like it i might start doing this we're gonna blow out our hair i blow out essentials these two Kerastase like, Nova Plex, I've talked about this before. Okay guys, so I finished ironing the sheets. As you guys saw, that was insane, two hours. I think also because it was my first time doing it, I figured out a way at the end how to do it a little quicker. Friday night and we're going to this new Turkish place that he found. Really, it's really big in Turkey. They have like 130,000 followers. Excited, it's apparently like- Smoked. Smoked. smoked uh, meats. Meats. Oh, yes, right. Cause they charge you by the pound. Oh, I'm super hungry. So I'm excited. And I love Turkish food too, obviously. So, yeah, should be good. We'll be good. We'll be good. Good morning, guys. It is currently Saturday. I'm thinking to just go grab some sun today. I want a little tan. So I went ahead and put on my bathing suit. Herman is playing tennis right now with the guys. I have like all these major breakouts because of my period. So just ignore. We're not going to be putting on concealer. He lives so red. I think I'm getting eczema, guys. It's really bad. But anyways, see you at the pool. Guys, tell me how I thought it was going to be a really nice day. Which it is. It's not a terrible day, but it's windy and I'm kind of cold. That's why I haven't taken off my top. These clouds are covering up the sun, but when the sun comes out, it's really nice. I honestly should have come out earlier, but it's fine. Um, you guys saw that I went tanning yesterday and then we honestly had some friends over. That was it. Today is Easter Sunday. We are gonna go grab some things to eat at one of our favorite restaurants, Houston's. And we're gonna go to the pool at one of our friends' houses. Tanning day, which should be fun. I've been wanting to do this new hairstyle. It's kind of like a crimpy hairstyle. This, and then like this, and then like this. 
that's kind of it. Okay, wait. Then I go like this. Then I go like this. Right? I mean, let me think. Do we like the crimped look? Then going into just like my eyelids, they're so dry. I think it's just like eczema. I've been having eczema for like the last year. I think honestly eczema has to do with like diet and I think technically I'm pretty gluten intolerant but I still eat it. I refuse to cut off gluten completely from my body. I out with these Medicube mild pore wipes, Nimbazin vitamin boosting toner. This has like niacinamide and all that good stuff. It's really hydrating also that on all over this is my new saffron serum um i slightly lightened my eyebrows over the weekend and it makes my jet black hair stand out more because with my black eyebrows my hair never seemed black enough i don't know if that makes sense of this radha rosehip oil so because i have really dry skin i feel like this has been helping a little bit especially underneath my eyes so i just kind of like dab it underneath my eyes and on my lids that have been extremely dry favorite product to use but on is this say beauty concealer the blush i actually have been loving this formula it's very hydrating glowy maximizer from dior with the blush and a halo palette from from smashbox i'm gonna go ahead and use these two but yeah this is gonna be my finished look for today i'll be going to get my eyelashes and brows done at 345 i'm going to a place called browholic anyways i'm gonna take you guys along with me so go. <laughs> okay guys so got my brows done she did put in a tint and she kind of outlined where my eyebrows need to be growing in order for them to look the best that they can honestly after i did my passport photo i did notice that my eyebrows are not as symmetrical as i would like them to be so she did get them a little more symmetric and kind of outlined where i just need to let them grow and not touch them and not pluck them they grow exactly into this shape i know that right now they look kind of like you know very defined but they're obviously gonna look a lot softer once this tint kind of wears out just so that i kind of have an idea of where my eyebrows need to grow out she did a really good job so i have to like grow them them out more on the tail throw them out more on the bottom so i have to let them grow a little bit out in the front here because this one is closer to my nose than this one so we just have a lot of growing out to do um it's gonna be a little bit of a process but i feel like by the summer our eyebrows are gonna be freaking snatched and that's the goal i'm going now to wild fork to buy some protein 